according to the letter, this should be the place. Sorry, we don't serve the general public. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait! We're of the general public! Well then, you must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the nation, judging by your attire. <gasps> Are our clothes really so... Uh, oh, uh, what Paima means to say is... Uh... Hmm, the Yashiro Commission seal. This must be from Mr. Toma. It seems there's more to you than meets the eye. In which case, welcome to the Komore Tea House, a safe haven for the Yashiro Commission. Well, that sounds more like it. forgot their promise. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. What? Is that dog talking to us? <laughs> Relax. No need to look so surprised. I take it this is the first time you've seen me in this form? Huh. So you didn't see anything like this when you were in Leo Harbor? Ah, oh, now that you mention it, this does suddenly seem less out of the ordinary. <laughs> all right, all right. I've had my fun. Hey! You're this close to getting an ugly nickname, mister! <laughs> well, I've had some time to kill, given that I've been waiting here for you for so long, as was the case in Rito. So I came up with this little fun greeting for when you arrived. But in all seriousness, I would like to apologize about that little test you went through earlier, though it was quite necessary. It helped us determine whether or not to bring you before Miss Kamisato, and whether you had the courage to face the lightning alongside us. Hmm. Don't think that Paimon's gonna forgive you just because you're getting all serious now. <laughs> Sorry, did I overdo it? My apologies. Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. A long time ago, we had a friend who was much the same, but when the lightning struck... Ah, so you've heard of his story. Hmm. His light still burns all the more brightly. Yes, of course. I will bring you to the Kamisato residence where the Yashiro Commission is located. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. Oh? Where? I would like you to come with me to the Statue of the Omnipresent God. It's still under construction now, but you can already see it from practically anywhere on Narukami Island. This area sure feels gloomy. Uh, people probably don't come here often. Do they? Huh? Are Paimon's eyes playing tricks? Or are there things embedded in the statue? Visions. Visions? You mean all the visions that are collected from the Vision Hunt Decree are put into the statue? So you've already heard of the Vision Hunt Decree. Before I try to explain, I should perhaps remind you first that Mondstadt is the City of Freedom and Liyue is the City of Contracts. As for Inazuma, it's known as the Nation of Eternity. The Raiden Shogun is both the nation's most powerful ruler and its deity. The Eternity in question is her endless and unchanging will to rule over Inazuma. As such, she relies on the Tri Commission to regulate the nation's affairs and the Sokoku Decree to limit the people's movement. The Shogun wishes to keep Inazuma in stasis, allowing the stream of time to flow from one end to the other without disturbing it for all time. Seems like every god has their own will. Of course, this is my own limited understanding. As for the reason behind the recent Vision Hunt Decree, perhaps the Shogun believes that visions grant people the power to change, and that her eternity doesn't allow for such instability to exist. Whatever the case, 
the fact is that the Raiden Shogun has dispatched the Tenryo Commission to scour the nation for visions, embedding each one in this statue. And this statue of the omnipresent god can be seen as Inazuma's symbol of eternity. But if that's the case, wouldn't you say that the Raiden Shogun is being... oh, I don't know... selfish? <laughs> Only outlanders such as yourselves would ever dare speak out so directly against the Raiden Shogun. And yet, I agree. The Vision Hunt Decree is something that simply should not exist. And Miss Kamisato has been committed to fighting it since the day it was announced. Huh? Hey, are you okay? You look like your mind is elsewhere. Sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Did something happen? Yeah, you touched the statue, and then... And then what? Aspirations? Hmm. That would seem to confirm the saying. Have you heard it before? That when a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. That is where visions come from. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. So if what you just said is true, then the ambitions of these people are stronger than I imagined. All right, time for the next stop on our tour of Narukami Island, the Kamisato residence. <sighs> Finally! So, this is the kind of place where the big shots of Inazuma live, huh? expected it to be... snazzier. Welcome at last to the Kamisato residence, honored guests. Miss Kamisato is delighted to finally meet you. Is this the Shirasage Himegimi you keep going on about? So, uh... Where's she at? <clears throat> oh, uh... Behind the screen? Yes. <laughs> As the daughter of the Yashiro Commission, this is how Miss Kamisato is accustomed to receiving guests. Consider it a time-honored tradition within the Yashiro Commission. Forgive me if this is an unwelcome surprise. Mm, makes sense. She's a super important person after all. Please forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion. Especially following such a long and wearisome journey over the sea. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. And Toma assures me that you do indeed possess the power to change the tide of the times. At present in Inazuma, in the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot. Though the Yashiro Commission serves the Shogun, it is the people with whom we share close bonds, given the contact we are required to have with them in the performance of our duties. A Commission's power rises and falls with the trust of their people. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own fate. Traveler, lend us your power and we can... Oh. <sighs> See, milady, it's just like I said. This will take us nowhere. No, please! Wait! Please, don't go! <sighs> I will introduce you to the Raiden Shogun on one condition. You must fulfill three small wishes on my behalf. What are your wishes? They pertain to three whose visions were taken from them. Perhaps once you've met them, you will understand. A warrior who guards a village, a former samurai who helped carry out the Vision Hunt Decree, and a swordmaster determined to become the best in the world. Does Paimon get that right? Correct. Please do all you can to help them. I will await your return here. <laughs> then you have my gratitude. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great. Miss Kamisato's left, it seems. No cutting corners now, okay? 